Gervonta Davis, the newly crowned WBA lightweight champion, has compelled Devin Haney into a mandatory fight, leading to Haney relinquishing his belt. Many in the professional boxing circuit anticipate Haney squaring off against Davis following Davis's bout with Regis Progray. Notably, Timothy Bradley expressed concerns, stating that any misstep against Davis could spell trouble for Haney. While acknowledging Haney's prowess, Bradley believes that defensively skilled boxers like Shakur Stevenson might hold an advantage against Haney on the inside. Moreover, Bradley highlighted Davis's exceptional power and ring intelligence, suggesting that both Davis and Stevenson could pose serious challenges to Haney, potentially defeating him in a match. Oscar De La Hoya also views the potential fight as intriguing but leans towards Davis due to his perceived overwhelming power advantage over Haney. Oscar expressed his excitement, noting that it would be a fantastic fight, although he leaned towards picking Tank. He acknowledged that Haney gained valuable experience from his bout with LMA, but he also emphasized Tank's formidable prowess in the ring for quite some time. For a while, Devin Haney insisted that Gervonta Davis needed to move up to 140 pounds if he wanted to face him. Haney was firm that the fight would have to take place at 140 pounds, citing his prior success in that weight class, particularly his victory over Mario Barrios. He believed it made the most sense for the bout to occur at that weight. Kenny Ellis had strong opinions regarding the notion of Gervonta moving up in weight. He expressed skepticism, suggesting that some might be trying to divert Davis away from the 135-pound category to safeguard specific individuals. Ellis believed there were unresolved matters at 135 pounds, questioning why Davis couldn't fight at that weight if he could make it. He found it puzzling, arguing that Davis wouldn't gain additional power at 140 pounds. Ellis even observed Davis's training, mentioning that Clarissa Shields hit the bag harder than Davis did. Anthony Smith believes that Devin Haney should steer clear of facing Javante Davis, expressing concerns about Haney's susceptibility to taking too many hits. Smith cautioned that this tendency could be detrimental in a bout against the likes of Tank Davis, emphasizing that Haney cannot afford to do so against such a fighter. On the other hand, Hector Garcia holds the opinion that Gervonta Davis wouldn't encounter much difficulty dealing with Shakur Stevenson. However, he contends that Davis might face a tougher challenge against Devin Haney. Garcia predicts a win for Gervonta over Shakur due to Davis's significant power advantage. However, when assessing a potential match against Haney, Garcia foresees a closely contested fight. He acknowledges Davis's power, but highlights Haney's strategic prowess and movement inside the ring. Edwin believes that a face-off between them would be an evenly matched and engaging fight, crediting Haney for his tactical skills, describing him as a crafty and intelligent boxer who poses a significant challenge for Gervonta Davis. Edwin de Los Santos holds the view that both Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis are more well-rounded fighters compared to Shakur Stevenson. Edwin expressed agreement, stating that for him, Gervonta Davis stands out due to his high-quality boxing skills and exceptional punching power. He also emphasized that Devin Haney possesses superior boxing abilities compared to others, particularly noting Davis's completeness as a fighter with a formidable combination of skills and power. When Gervonta Davis observed some of Devin's recent sparring footage, he responded with a light-hearted dismissal in front of the press, expressing uncertainty about both fighters, especially Haney. Davis remarked that the footage he watched wasn't particularly impressive, mentioning it merely showed Haney landing jabs and not showcasing much else compared to what he himself has achieved in his sparring sessions. Davis implied that Haney couldn't match his level, citing his own achievements. However, in terms of boxing resumes, Eddie Hearn favors Devin Haney's record over Gervonta Davis. Eddie expressed his perspective on the fighters' resumes, noting that considering recent victories over Lomachenko and Cambosos, Devin Haney holds a stronger position in terms of accomplishments. However, he acknowledged Gervonta Davis also possesses an impressive record, albeit with fluctuations across weight divisions. Davis notably defeated Leo Santa Cruz, a fighter from the 126-pound category who moved up to 135 to face him. Additionally, Davis triumphed over former WBA light welterweight champion Mario Barrios, 
Although Eddie noted Varios isn't among the pound-for-pound -pound elite, but is currently competing in the 147-pound division. Eddie underscored that both Davis and Haney boast commendable wins, but he sees Haney's achievements as standing out. He suggested that if Haney were to defeat Pro Grays, it would elevate him to another level by moving up in weight classes and conquering a top contender at 140 pounds, a feat that underscores Haney's skill and capability, especially against an opponent with considerable power. Regarding Kervanta's chances against Haney, Vasily Lomachenko previously doubted that such a fight would ever materialize. Lomachenko expressed skepticism, citing his understanding of Haney's skill level as well as his father's comprehension of his abilities. Eddie believes Haney may move up to 140 pounds and continue fighting opponents who are not elite boxers in regular matchups. Calvin Ford has been actively advocating for Devon to pursue the fight against Gervonta. According to Calvin, in his scoring, the fight with Lomachenko seemed like a draw. He observed Devon's effectiveness in the first half of the fight and noted a lack of significant action in the last round. However, the judges believed Devon had done more than Lomachenko. Calvin highlighted the age gap, pointing out that Devon, being younger with more opportunities ahead, has an advantage over the 35-year-old Lomachenko. He acknowledged that while it was a good fight in terms of generating pay-per-view buys, he doesn't think Lomachenko is prepared to face Tank Davis. Devon's team is adamant about fighting at 135 pounds, and Calvin suggested that only Tank's decision to fight at that weight could sway their stance. If Tank doesn't agree to 135 pounds, Devon's team is considering moving up to 140 pounds, taking a chance in that weight class. Calvin proposed that if he were on their team, he would advise fighting Tank for the significant payday and then continuing forward. He also pointed out that the 140-pound division is becoming increasingly competitive, with Tank previously nudging others to fight at 135 pounds. Calvin expressed his stance, insisting that Gervonta, being adept at making the 135-pound limit, sees no reason to move up to 140, as he perceives himself as the main attraction in the division and would prefer his opponents to come to him. While both fighters have a contentious history stemming from their sparring session, Adrian Broner shared his perspective on the incident involving Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis. According to Broner, the altercation occurred when Devin was just 17 years old. He described the sparring as initially competitive, but tension escalated when Tank landed a couple of hits on Haney. Concerned about Haney's age, Broner intervened to prevent any escalation. Others, including Bill, joined in, leading to a chaotic situation between the two groups. Broner acknowledged the exchange of words between himself and Bill, understanding Bill's stance in support of his son, Devin. On the other hand, Leonard Ellerby, representing Gervonta Davis, didn't perceive potential fights against Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson as significant events for Gervonta in terms of their overall magnitude or importance. Leonard, speaking on behalf of Davis, emphasized that Gervonta Davis operates as his own decision-maker in boxing. He clarified that when Tank is prepared for upcoming fights, he will inform everyone accordingly. Davis recently posted indicating he'll return in the early part of the next year. Leonard expressed confidence in Tank's abilities, stating that despite his respect for other fighters, Davis will demonstrate his superiority in the ring. He critiqued some people's lack of understanding about the boxing business, emphasizing that Tank will prove his prowess without merely speaking about it. Meanwhile, Devin remains committed to his impending bout against Regis Progre, However, he still regards a potential fight with Gervonta Davis as the most significant in boxing. Devin highlighted Davis's drawing power and expressed his own rising status as a significant attraction, underscoring that a clash between them would be a colossal event in the sport. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.